So today we are going to create a 3D card model of a wine glass. The project brief is available in Moodle. Uh, so please open that up or print it off. View the dimensions and familiarize yourself with what we are going to create. Begin by launching Google SketchUp 8. Choose template, product design, millimeters, start using Google SketchUp. So let's commence by drawing a line from the origin up along the blue axis of a distance of 10 millimeters. Now as you can see, we are going to have to zoom in using the scroll wheel on the mouse, draw another line across parallel to the red axis of distance 5 and straight down of distance 10. Now because that's in a perspective mo mode, we want to turn it into parallel projection for clarity. Draw a line from that end point along the red axis of a distance of 30 millimeters. Line up, length of 3, cross length of 1.5, and connect as shown on screen. Zoom into the lower right hand side of the object. Draw a line from the midpoint across parallel to the red axis of a distance of 1.5 millimeters. Draw, go to circle, there's the center, there's the radius. Okay, so for clarity we're going to go to camera, standard views, and select front. Now we're going to erase the perpendicular construction line as shown. And we're going to draw a line from that intersection straight down of a length of 3 millimeters, and connect to the end point, which appears at the quadrant of that circle that we just constructed. Now we are going to erase some of the construction lines. To do so, select the eraser tool. And to erase, you simply scrub the icon across the lines which you don't want and select as shown. And to complete this lower part of the glass, select a line, draw from the end point right across to the blue axis and erase that construction line. Now we are going to start creating the vessel itself. Draw a line from the end point up along the blue axis of a length of 115 millimeters. Now as you can see that that is off screen so you have to scroll out. Draw a line across a distance of 35 millimeters parallel to the red axis. Go to circle. There is my center point. There is the radius and erase the extraneous lines. Now we're going to draw the top of the glass. Draw a line from the end point as shown. We're traveling up a distance along the blue axis of length 75 millimeters. Another line across length of 25 mil and connect as shown. Now we're going to erase the horizontal construction line. And now we're going to assign the glass uh, material thickness. So to do so, we select the command offset, uh, select the profile, move the cursor in to the glass, assign it a value of 3 millimeters, and erase the lines that you no longer require as shown. Now it's a simple matter of a joining the dots or extending the lines. So draw a line from the end point parallel to the edge. Uh, shown. Erase the line to the left hand side and now we are going to uh, assign the rim of the glass a radius. So again draw a line from the midpoint and this has to be parallel to the edge as uh, shown. See why it goes kind of a pink or red color. Um, value of 1.5 there's my center, there's my radius and erase the extraneous lines. And there is the radius rim of the glass. Zoom out. We want to extend that line to do so. 
control nine from the endpoint over to the blue axis shell. Next we have to create the stem of the glass. To do so go to line from the endpoint straight up to the edge and erase the construction lines no longer required. Good. Now before we proceed we're going to save it. File save as. We're going to title this one glass. I want you to save this to your H drive and to your pen drive. Okay, now sometimes construction lines are hidden behind the axes, so to see if there's any construction lines there, we go to View and we turn the axes off. As you can see, there are construction lines. We need to erase them as shown and turn the axes back on. Now we're going to draw a line from the origin up along the blue axis at a distance of 250 mil and draw a line across parallel to the red axis uh, this time we're going to assign that a length of 30 millimeters. Go to camera, standard views, and select ISO, which is an isometric view. Go to circle, there's my center, there's my radius. Again, we're going to delete some construction lines. So go to view, turn the axes off again, erase the lines that you no longer require. And there we go. Now we're going to turn the profile into a 3D object. Go to Tools and select Follow Me. Uh, move the cursor into the center of the profile. Select. Hold down the Alt key and select the disk as shown. And there is your 3D wine glass. Now we need to delete that disk. Erase as shown. And let's orbit around to see the wine glass. Make sure there are no flaws. And there aren't. File, save, and now we're going to play with some properties here. So we're going to go into view, and we're going to give it a shadow. Now we're going to delete those edges. So go to view, edge style, turn the edges off. Good. Now we're going to assign our wine glass model a material. So select the entire glass, go to paint bucket, And here we have a myriad of different materials that we can assign to objects. So if you go down to Select, and obviously you have Stone and Metal, we're going to select Translucent. And we are going to choose a Clear Glass Blue. Select it and drop it onto the object, as you can see. Um, our object now has been assigned a translucent blue color. Close that and save. And now we're going to exit from Google SketchUp. Choose maybe later. And that's the end of the tutorial.